Hi, my name is John and I'll be teaching you how to install the E107 website system. Okay, first you want to go you want to go to e107.org and you're going to click download E107 website system. You can just go here E107.7.14 is the current version. You're going to want that in the zip file format. So I'll just just download that here. Okay, and while that downloads, we're going to go into our C panel, and we're going to create a MySQL database. You can go to MySQL database wizard here, and just start making your database. I'll name it E107. Username. And we'll go next. We're going to want to give it all privileges just to make sure it can do uh, everything it needs to do. Create users, because this is your whole user database here. So we're just going to go next step after you click all privileges. And uh, you see it was successfully added to the database E107. So we'll return home. And uh, we'll just go check, make sure everything's up. And there's our database right there. Now what we're gonna want to want to do is go back to the home page of the uh, C panel, and uh, you can open up your file manager. I already have it open here. You're gonna want to click upload, and you're gonna want to upload your E107 zip file. You want it to be zipped up. You don't want to extract it. So basically just uh, find the file you downloaded and upload it to your website now it should take about five minutes so I'm just gonna save us some time and uh, I already have it uploaded here so you just go to browse and you find your file on your desktop mine is located somewhere here yeah, it's right here and you just click double click it and it should start uploading see so yeah, I'm just gonna X that out because I already have it uploaded. So after you upload it, you're going to want to right click it and click extract. You're going to want to extract it to public HTML. Okay, now you see all your E107 files are now uploaded. And you can go ahead and proceed with the installation. Now, what we're going to do to install it is we're going to go to my domain whatever your domain is um, you know uh, free tutorials to x10 hosting.com slash install .php. whatever your domain is say it's google.com it's gonna be google.com slash install .php. you're just gonna want to uh, add the slash install .php, um, to the end of your domain and it should bring you to the installation page and here it is, E107 installation. You're going to want to go English. And here's your MySQL database information. Now, your username, you can check it here. I'll just go back to the databases. Now, my username is going to be kalexjohn underscore john. Make sure you include that uh, underscore, the full name otherwise it won't work right. Okay, password is what you entered before and the database should be right here. So I'm just going to enter that in there. And you don't need to touch this, just leave that alone. I'll click continue. Connection was established and verified for the MySQL server. That's good. All these have passed. That's good. If if you don't have if all these don't pass and you have a problem, file permissions, you can go into your um, your file manager and find config 
or configuration.php and you can change the permissions to uh, 777 and it should work after that um, so I'm just going to continue the installation this is just the information for the E107 so I'm just going to enter some information and we'll continue this is uh, confirming the installation we want to confirm it and E107 has been successfully installed so we just click continue it will bring you to your website websites right here you can log in and everything just to make sure and you're logged in and uh, yeah everything's working good so that's how you install E107 on your website if you would like any more tutorials or um, any questions about this website system here or if you would like me to uh, help you install your system just go ahead and leave me a comment on YouTube and I'll gladly assist you. Thanks for watching and uh, stay tuned for uh, more tutorials.